All right, so let's get started here. Welcome to ethics class. Uh, this is also referred to as philosophy 112 9 a My name is Aurelio Madrid, and I'm offering you these screencasts to help you get started with the class. So this is part one of two. Uh, in part one, we'll cover basics of the syllabus, and in part two, we'll look at the uh, details of D2L, okay? So first, let's start at our home page here. This is our home page of D2L. Click on content. And when you click on content, you'll see right here, this won't automatically pop up like this. But if you look on the side here, you'll notice syllabus. You want to click on that, and this is what you'll what will show up. Let me change this to view as a student so that we're making sure this is all as clear as possible for you. Okay, so you'll see on the side here the table of contents for our content tab. You want to click on syllabus and you'll come up with this. Click on this guy here and you'll see the syllabus pop up. And let's Get this so that we could see it as clear as possible. So yes, this is an ethics class for spring 2021 semester. My name is Aurelio Madrid. A uh, good way to get a hold of me is via my cell phone, uh, text, etc. Or the best way really is by way of our CCA, excuse me, our uh, D2L email. Okay, and I'll show you the details of that in the second screencast. Uh, so there's other contacts. Um, let's see, class time and day, all remote online. Just know to, I'm kind of using Monday as a pivot point. So Monday will be the time that I upload for the following week, where I'll upload assignments for the following week. And it will usually be when work is due, unless specified because there might be times where I need you to turn in weeks on other, turn in work on other days of the week. Okay, uh, let's see. So yeah, best way to really reach me is by way of D2L email. Okay, that's the easiest. Uh, course materials, we do not have a textbook in this class. Okay, uh, all of our work will be by way of PDFs. Uh, also, uh, sometimes I'll link you up to something to read online, or sometimes I'll just have you watch a video, and then also the videos that I provide, okay? Uh, what to expect from this class. This is an ethics class. I offer uh, the details of this paragraph in a video, okay? Uh, important dates here. We just have the basic important dates of the semester, okay? Uh, know that uh, by if I don't see any, I believe this date here, last day to drop with a refund, also corresponds to the day that I really should have a, uh, you as attending this class. And attending this class really is accounted for by way of when you turn in work, how you turn in work, okay? And so if I don't see that you're turning in work by this time, then uh, I count you as not shown up for the class and uh, report you as a no-show and you will be dropped, okay? And then you could also drop the class at this time too with a refund, etc. okay? Then, um, let's see, probably should take this out of the syllabus. I should make a note to take that out. And then also this, I left this these little headings in here for some reason. So I'll be sure to remove those. Uh, attendance and participation. Um, so this is, again, the point I just made that I'll know uh, if you are attending by uh, how you turn in work, etc. So if you're not turning in work, I, you're not accounted for, etc. And if I don't see any work from you by the third, you're uh, classified as a no-show, okay? Late work and makeup work, basically what you want to do is if you're late for any work, do not email me the late work, okay? 
only turn in that late work in the appropriate file that it's late for, okay? Whether that's in Dropbox or in our discussion, etc. Okay, and also that will uh, that work will receive a 20% uh, reduction right off the top. Okay, so 80% 80, 80 will be the new 100% for that work. So it's easy easy to um, uh, note that there will be points re reduced if, uh, on top of that if the work is not meeting the criteria standards, etc. Okay. Uh, D2L, this is, I just showed you what D2L is. You guys probably already know that. Most of our work will be, uh, turned in via Dropbox and in our, uh, discussions, etc. Uh, technical difficulties. This point is important in order to just, uh, indicate that if you do have technical difficulties, that's not an excuse for you to, uh, um, avoid turning in work or uh, why something should be late. That in other words, you should try to get t take care of your technical problems uh, beforehand because oftentimes, you know, uh, I don't know what the particular technical problem is or something like that, and I might not be able to help you. So it's not an excuse to avoid doing work is probably the best way to put it. Okay. Preparing for this class. Uh, Let's see. Doing the work of philosophy is active. Good thinking is itself good work. Taking the time to do philosophy. This in sentence is incredibly important. It means reading it, practicing it out loud, and putting it into words. We're not, we don't have a Zoom meeting, so we're not going to be practicing it out loud. So this, these two elements become really important. So in other words, reading is front and center of what you'll be doing in this class, okay? That's the most important element of this class. So do not avoid doing the readings. Okay. That's numero uno. That's what you should really be paying attention to is the readings that I provided. Also the videos that I, uh, provided, etc. Okay. And then also, uh, your writing. So your writing is how I evaluate you, etc. So that's how we, that's how we get to know one another here. And it's also how I'll grade you. Okay. Um, so I assign work uh, weekly, and uh, I will give you plenty of notice, say, for exams, etc., and uh, short essays. What to expect during this class? Um, every week I'll usually have a discussion or uh, an assignment. I call them weekly study objectives here. Uh, that is really otherwise known as an assignment. Um, and I'll be asking you specific questions having to do with the reading. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then, uh, I also have some tips on feedback that I'll have in the second video, in the second screencast here. Uh, after class, be sure to, uh, relax, uh, as much as you need to. That's a great way of, uh, having a fresh mind to, uh, consider the complicated thinking that's involved with philosophy, okay? Um, here's a, uh, some tips on resources, etc. Uh, doing the work, emailing me when you need help, don't hesitate to do that. Last thing you want to do is turn in work, get a grade that you didn't want, and then complain that you didn't understand something, especially if you did not ask for help, okay? So you have to ask for help and be very specific with the help that you ask for, too. Otherwise, it's difficult to know what you're wanting help with. Here, I just have a little breakdown of work. We'll have two exams. Um, I offer dates here. Uh, all readings will be posted ahead of time, uh, usually a week ahead of time, sometimes sooner. We'll have written work due every week whether that's discussions, assignments, exams, or short essays, I usually won't have them overlapping, okay? So just know that we'll have at least one of these elements due every week. Uh, and let's see. And then also you want to pay attention to this grading criteria for all written work located under our content tab for specific details. Uh, scrolling down, here you see a points breakdown. I'm not offering you participation points. This is the only class I'm teaching this semester where I'm not offering participation points. Why? Because we don't have a Zoom meeting. Now, if you wanted to meet with me or anything like that, don't hesitate to let me know. I could easily set up a, a Zoom meeting to talk to you.
As a matter of fact, I might make that uh, something that uh, I want each of us to do separately, but I haven't concluded what I'll do from there, okay? Uh, if I do, I'll have an announcement, just because we're, um, we're in a situation whereby this is just a totally remote class, okay? So here I have the breakdown of how all this works uh, according to uh, uh, point value and, and the frequency of each uh, assignment, okay? And then here is a schedule. Uh, I have up here noted due. Usually you want to just use the rule of thumb that work will be due on Mondays, okay? Whether that be an exam, your short essay, uh, discussion, assignment, etc. Okay, so that's our uh, syllabus for now, and uh, next screencast we'll talk about some details on D2L. So thanks!